All right. Welcome to Game 15 post-game press conference at the 2023 SEC Baseball Tournament. Reminder that Ella and Jesse will be passing wireless microphones, so uh, please raise your hand and wait for you, uh, to be called upon. We're joined by SEC Coach of the Year from Arkansas, Dave Van Horn, along with starting pitcher Brady Tigert and third baseman Caleb Cowley. We'll get an opening statement from Coach and then take questions specific to the student athletes first. Coach? First off, uh, congratulations to a and I mean, they played, they, they pitched great today and both teams played very good defense for the most part. And uh, yeah, it was just, uh, you know, one of those games really frustrating for us, especially on the offensive side. It's like our, you know, their pitchers did a great job against our top five hitters. And, uh, you know, that ended up being the difference in the game. You, you move down past that and six through nine, they, they fought, fought, fought pretty well and they got that rally going there in the top of the ninth. But uh, great tournament, just uh, we played three tight games, all five to four. Feel very fortunate to win two of them. And, uh, you know, you hate to, you hate to lose and, and leave, uh, but now it's time for us to switch, switch gears mentally and, and regroup a little bit and, and build up a little strength and get ready for next weekend. All right, we'll take questions for Brady and Caleb right here on the front row in the center. Dylan Stewart with the Arkansas Traveler. I uh, got a question for Callie. Uh, tough loss, but pretty decent performance uh, from the plate today. Uh, three hits, two runs. Uh, how are you feeling out there? Uh, what were you seeing? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. Um, you know, uh, that's all I can really say about that. Obviously, you know, we didn't come out with the win today, but, you know, I'm feeling good going into, you know, next weekend. So. In the front row on the left. This is for for uh, Caleb first. Um, I know you lost the game, but you guys, you know, were getting shut shut out there for six innings, and you showed some life, especially in the ninth. Is, is that? I mean, how good does that feel that you put up a fight and and obviously had you know almost had the the the, the tying runs and winning runs, you know, got them on base. Yeah, you know, uh, it's good to see that. I think it shows that our team has a lot of toughness. Um, you know, we didn't get that tying run across the plate in the ninth there, but you know, we were really close. Um, you know, just but seeing that out of our team, especially late like that, it's you know it's a good sign to see. And Brady, um, you know, you didn't pitch. Yeah, you know, I thought you pitched solid game, but didn't seem to have the control you've had in other starts. Uh, well, uh, well, how would you assess today? Uh, you know, your performance today. Uh, definitely wasn't the best day for me. Um, you know, I had to compete a little bit more than I normally do. I just couldn't couldn't quite find it, but it happens and. Uh, Glad we got off with as little damage as we did. One more, Bob. I guess for both guys, I think y'all have been on the road for 11 days. I don't know if you're going to fly home or drive home, but um, I mean, I mean, you're going to get to go home. You're going to regroup. You know, you're hosting a regional. Kind of what, what what's the feeling about the tournament? And then you, you can get home and kind of reset, like Dave was talking about. Maybe Caleb, you could take that first, and, and then Brady. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've been gone for a while, but we definitely want to stick around for one more day. Um, but, you know, stuff happens and we'll go home and we'll regroup and we'll be ready, so. Yeah, I mean, as the year says, we're really hard to beat at home. We, we really feel good and we're uh, back at bomb, so we're all really confident. We're ready. Up. Yeah, the, the, this fifth time you guys have played A&M, you've beaten them four. It's hard to beat a good team five times, I would think. Um, did you feel like maybe it was just A&M's, you know, the odds? That they they were going to win, or just how, how do you feel about A and M? Because they're they a pretty good team. I'm sure they were frustrated with those other losses. Uh, yeah, you know, kudos to them for playing well today. Um, you know, I think that, you know, we c we could have won this game, uh, but you know, we didn't today. But uh, you know, hats off to them for playing well. Yeah, I thought we were going to win the game all the way up until it was over. So, all right, any more questions for the student athletes? If not. Brady, Caleb, congratulations. Thanks for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, if there are questions for Coach, please raise your hand and we'll come to you. Let's start in the middle on the right. Hey, Coach. Uh, Dylan Stewart with uh, Arkansas Traveler. Uh, tough ninth inning. Uh, you got two on, two out. Uh, can you just walk us through the ninth? Well, there was a lot that went on in the ninth. We almost batted around. 
I'll tell you about the last two outs. I mean, we swung at some bad pitches, had two of our best hitters up there, and, uh, you know, that was probably the most dis disappointing part to me about that inning. I, I loved that inning. I loved the way we rallied. Uh, John Bolton's at bat, fouling off pitches and then smoking one opposite field down the line. You know, just uh, just just did a great job there fighting to get to the next pitch. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, we needed another hit to tie it up. And, you know, that three and four all hitter up and a guy just throwing pretty much exclusively sliders. And, uh, you know, they didn't they didn't. They didn't find the barrel at all. So congratulations, you know, to Wanting. He did a great job finishing us up. Front row on the left. Coach, you mentioned Bolden. Just how, what did you think about his performance coming back from that injury, not only at the plate, but also in the field as well? Yeah, he had a couple plays in the field. He made them um, play, feel the ball came to the plate, made a perfect throw. At the plate, I thought he looked really good, really sharp, strong, and, uh, you know, when he got hurt, he was just really starting to swing the bat a lot better, honestly. Uh, a lot more confidence, hitting balls hard against against Vandy over there. He, he swung the bat well, and then he then he hurt his his ankle, obviously. So um, it'd be nice if if he can take that into the into the next weekend and give us a little offense towards the end of our lineup. We're in the front row. At day that sixth inning, you bring in Gage. I think he had three walks, and then Coyle had a walk. So how frustrating was that? And, you know, Gage has had a couple not-so-good outings, kind of. What, what's your thought process on He's him? He's had three in a row like that. So, yeah. you know, it makes it tough. It makes it tough for us as coaches to, you know, what do we do? You know, he was a guy that was throwing 95 miles an hour, had a little attitude, and he's throwing the ball 91, 92. I think he might have topped out at 93, but, you know, throwing nothing but strikes. So. Uh, it's frustrating, and, and we we got to figure out this week if, if we're going to be able to use him on the weekend. And Fouch, you know, he he came in and, and got out got out of a jam to do. How good was that to see him? Because I think the last three outings he hadn't retired yep. anybody. Yeah, he had, he you know, and he's been close. His pitches have been real close, and it's uh it's hurt him, hurt his confidence a little bit. But today, you know, he was all around the zone, threw a nice slider to get that last out, and. Uh, you know, zipping the ball in there about 95, 96, 97. And, uh, you know, looks like, you know, he's, he's taking a step back forward. He wants to help us out. One more, Bob. Um, I, I know you want to win, obviously. We know you guys have a top eight seed. You've been on the road for close to two weeks. Um, are you guys going home? Are you getting a fly home or got a bus home? How are you guys getting home? Uh, we're riding with you. You know, we're, we got an we, SUV. We are going to uh, <laughs> hopefully take two buses to the airport and get on an airplane and go home tonight, if it all works out. Okay, well, good luck with that. And then, you know, I say, you, you, I mean, you came here, you played pretty well, you got beat, but um, I mean, how do you feel about your, your the tournament performance overall? And obviously, you got a much bigger deal next yeah. weekend. Well, I feel good about some things. I feel good about that we don't make very many mistakes. Uh, I don't think we made an error in three games here. I think we made one at Vanderbilt. It might have been on a pitcher. Uh, so I feel like, you know, if we can continue to do that, I feel like our starting pitchers, for the most part, are in good shape. They got some rest. We didn't overpitch them. Um, and a couple of bullpen guys, you know, had pretty good outings. I thought, Mac and, you know, I thought McIntyre was outstanding in both outings. and. I mean, it says here he gave up three runs, but a couple of freshmen walked in two of those for us. And, you know, it's just, uh, I, I don't know. I feel good, except uh, we got to get our offense going. And it's, it's the older guys. They, they got to do it. If we don't get the offense going, it'll be a quick weekend for us. And then, Brady, what did you think of his start? Yeah, Brady, he didn't have the stuff that he's had the last couple outings. Um, you know, fastball, 91, 92. He can throw at 95 if he needs to. If you want him to close the game, he can do that. And uh, but he didn't have the command that he had had the, the first three outings. I just feel like, uh, you know, we'll hopefully he got this out of the way and uh, we can uh, we can see him take a step forward, you know, next weekend. And, and I'm sure in a big game. All right, Coach. Well, we appreciate your time. Congratulations right. on your work right. this week. Thank you, guys. See you later.